at US Olympic Track and Field Trials Day 3. Started the day with 24 spots open to go to Tokyo. And they are filling up fast. Welcome back, Lee Diffie, Addo Bolden, ready for the final of the women's 100 meter hurdles. Five years ago, Kenny Harrison finished sixth. She was devastated. Two weeks later, she went out and set the world record. There's only one thing on her mind, Addo. She wants to become an Olympian. And the way to erase those painful memories from five years ago is to get one of those three spots. And she has looked good enough to get one of those three spots throughout these rounds. She won her semifinal. It is a full complement. Nine lanes here at Haywood Field. And in that ninth lane, Tarika Robinson, the 22-year-old. Part of the brilliant North Carolina a and program. She qualified on time, the 2021 Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference champion. Speaking of North Carolina, from Charlotte, the 23-year-old Gabby Cunningham. Coached by my friend Alan Johnson, the Olympic champion in the 110 hurdles in the 96 Olympic Games. It has been a spirited performance from Peyton Chadwick of Arkansas. She's such a phenomenal athlete. She does the multi-events as well. Alongside her is the 22-year-old Tania Marshall. This is actually Christina Clemens, me. who was second in her semifinal behind this young lady, Tania Marshall. And maybe Lee not running at the NCAAs in this event is what led to her running so well here. And we've spoken about Kenny Harrison. She is in lane four. Brilliant start in her semi. If she can have that kind of start, three people will not beat her this evening. Alongside Kenny, all in yellow, Anna Cockrell. She's an athlete and she's a scholar. She has already done the NCAA double. Now she's trying to do a trials double. We'll see her later this week, no matter what happens here, in the 400 meter hurdles, which is her better event. Reigning, <laughs> reigning Olympic champion, Brianna McNeil in lane two. Trying to get back to the Olympic Games and defend her title. But so much in her life right now is in utter turmoil. And finally in lane one, Aaliyah Armstrong. The youngest in the field, just coming off of her sophomore season. You see how relaxed she is? It's because she knows she's probably going to get back here. A phenomenal talent for the Lady Tigers. Lee, get a good look at the, good look at the finish line. Because I'm expecting a lot of leaning and fighting to get on this team. Lots of parity here. Nobody's really separated themselves from anybody else. And they better watch for that collegian because she looked very good in the semifinal. Kenny Harrison has been waiting five years for this moment, for redemption, and to stop the questions, why aren't you an Olympian? That can all end right here. for Kenny Harrison. I told you we're going to have a lot of leaning. We have no idea who behind Kenny Harrison has made this team. Brianna McNeil second, Clemens third. That's your team. So two first-time Olympians in Clemens and Harrison, Brianna McNeil, has at least made her case to go to Tokyo pending that appeal. Look at how close this was on the line. You can see Harrison, she's there, but everybody leaning at the line, the reigning Olympic champion across the line in second, and Clemens with a great lean to out, to out lean Cunningham. They both get the same time, but Cunningham is in fourth. Here's another look from the start. The world record holder in lane four. She didn't get as good a start as she had in the semifinal, but she fought back early in the race to get the lead. Now she has the lead. She has to hold off all challengers. She did a good job of doing that. And that was so close at the end. Spare a thought for Gabby Cunningham. She ran 12.53, 12.526. 
five thousandths of a second keeps Gabby Cunningham from going to Tokyo. That's why they're called trials. Look at that lunge from Christina Clemens to grab that third and final spot. But finally, finally, Kenny Harrison is heading to the Olympic Games. And there is Kenny's crew. Remember, she grew up one of 11. Life hasn't always been easy. This has been the greatest gift for Kenny Harrison, but she has worked hard for it. Not only is she the world record holder, she is now an Olympian. Lewis, she's been waiting a long time for that moment. A long time, Lee. Five years you've been waiting for it. So finally, <laughs> tell us about it. <laughs> um, you know, all the glory goes to God just to come out here and do what I knew that I could do. Um, I'm so glad I could put the past behind me and just move forward. As you stepped in the blocks tonight, you knew it was all there. The possibility was there. You had a great semi, great start. But how much pressure have you been carrying into today? You know, I just try not to think of it as pressure. I know what I'm capable of, and just to come out here and execute, come across the line first, and get the opportunity to go to the Olympics, it means everything. The clearly the loudest group was Kenny's crew. How about those, those guys up there? <laughs> yeah, my family's here. You know, I love them, and I'm so grateful they were able to see me. Yeah, finally getting to the Olympics in Tokyo. What's that going to mean to you? Everything. You know, I worked so hard for this moment, and I'm just looking forward to it. All righty, Brianna, so what's on your mind here as you close for second in another strong race? Oh, my God, I'm just thanking God. I am just so grateful that I have the opportunity to even be here. It's been such a long journey for me. It's been very, very tough for me this year. And with the grace of God, I was able to just come out here before and make the team. And I'm just trusting him in the process right now. I still have things that I'm uh, working through, but I'm just trusting God in this moment and just having complete gratitude. And I just want to dedicate this race to my brother, who just passed away in a car crash a couple weeks ago. I love you so much, and I just did this for you. It's all for you, Jeremiah. I love you. Yeah, we send our condolences to you and your family. Thank you. And we'll see what happens on your journey the rest of the way, okay? Thank you so much. All righty. Christina, Clemens, can't stop crying, and it's okay. <laughs> Share with us what this emotion is about. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's okay. I've been going after this team since 2012. And I, was in, I ruptured my Achilles in 2013. I wasn't healthy enough in 2016. We had to wait a whole year in 2020. And now here, I've been looked over. I've been counted out. But when God is with you, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm, so, I'm just so happy. And you I'm should sorry. be. And so with this joy, how do you now carry it from here to the other side of the world and line up against the world's best? I mean, and some of them are going to be your teammates from America. That's right. <laughs> I'm the world's best as well. You are. So I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready. My teammates, America, we go so hard. We push each other every single race. And this year was different because we didn't get to knock heads like usual. So here has been the most competition we've had all year. So when it comes to Tokyo, we'll be ready. I'll be ready. We'll see you there. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Lee? Christina Clemens was eliminated five years ago in the semifinals. Not today. She's headed to Tokyo. Look at how tight this finish was. Kenny Harrison, Brianna McNeil, and Christina Clemens. They're headed to the Olympics.